the battle against inflation is not over. We have seen very positive figures in the Netherlands, in Belgium, in the Eurozone of inflation. But we must remember that core CPI remains elevated, that the headline inflation figure is supported by the base effect, that the energy component is certainly helping a lot with the decline in oil and gas prices in this winter. All of these factors are helping show levels of inflation that are better than expected. But all of that is only showing that monetary aggregates are declining. We need to be very conscious about the fact that sudden rate cuts and liquidity injections could revert that process of improvement of inflation. That it would be misguided to cut rates as fast and as quickly as people are discounting these days. That Central banks need to pay attention to the base effect because it will work against inflation figures in the third and fourth quarter of 2024. And that monetary aggregates are showing a decline, but the reduction in inflation is much slower than what those monetary aggregates would indicate because governments continue to spend way too much and therefore consume more units of newly created currency. The battle against inflation is not over. It is not solved by a few rate hikes and certainly it's not over after a modest reduction in monetary aggregates coming after a massive increase in money supply. Therefore, Central banks need to be prudent and be aware that taking aggressive action on rate cuts in 2024 could be damaging both for the economy and for inflation expectations.